My name is Nelson Bonilla with Legacy Outdoor Living. This is day 10 of the Bob and Sheila project. Uh, this is the very beginning. Uh, still very raw. You can see our flagstone stacked along the side. Our walkway is cut out. Most of it is poured. We had a little bit of rain last night, so we kind of had to come to a good stopping point. Um, our flagstone walkway will lead us along the right side of the house, slowly transitioning into the backyard. As you can see, everything is formed out. Our channel drains are in place to manage all of our surface water. We'll use these 42 inch by four inch channel drains to capture and uh, release all of the menacing water underground. Our first transition is established with some 36 inch crab orchard step treads. One of my favorites, very colorful. Again, we got a little bit of rain last night, so we got some of the walkway laid as far as the flagstone, but we had to cover it quickly to protect it from the rain. Coming down to our bottom portion, my favorite. Again, second transition with uh, the 36 inch step treads very symmetrical very nice a lot of contrast That brings us down to my favorite part our retaining wall and patio patio is laid with a Medium to standard thickness crab orchard um, the retaining wall itself we used a fieldstone stack natural cut semi-symmetrical but still a very natural feel with a flagstone cap of course once I get all the landscaping in it will soften up all the stone that we're using but this provided us a nice extension to their outdoor living experience uh, this is our little entryway into the backyard of course we'll have some columns here at our entrance and then this is the last part of the retaining wall excuse me for being so bumpy again natural fields 